Greetings YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now I know the world is a crazy place out there at the moment, so come on, gather round, come on huddle with Uncle Fuzz because I've got the perfect distraction for you. More Final Fantasy VII Remake content, yay! Now just yesterday, Square Enix updated their blog with a whole host of new images. I think there was like 30 plus new screenshots in total detailing some of the new features that are going to be available in the upcoming remake. Some of those things we didn't even know until yesterday were even going to be present at all. And the one feature I really want to focus on for this video is the Colosseum, or as I like to call it, the Battle Arena. Indeed, for those of you already familiar with the original Final Fantasy VII, of course the Battle Arena will be no stranger to you. However, in the original game, the Battle Arena was located in the Gold Saucer area, a giant amusement park which is not going to be present in the remake, which is situated solely around the realms of Midgar. Thus, the fact that the Battle Arena is making its appearance here in any way, shape or form in the remake is itself a pleasant surprise, though it looks like there are going to be some changes here. The first obvious thing that jumps out at us from this screenshot is that in the original game, only one party member could engage in battles in the arena, whereas here clearly we can see both Cloud and Aerith present and accounted for. Maybe there'll be a solo run, maybe there'll be a party run, perhaps these will have different rewards if you manage to get through each of them. The point is though, Square have been telling us over and over, haven't they, how they're expanding upon all of the features and the locations and the story and the characters and all of this stuff from the original game. So the fact that the battle arena is being included here in the form of this Colosseum means that surely they are going to be expanding upon it from the original also. And one of the things I'm very much looking forward to finding out is how the Colosseum fits into the narrative here in Wall Market. We know that Wall Market is overrun by the Don. We know that he's a sleazy fellow. And we know that, you know, some of the goings on around this location aren't always above board. So whereas the Battle Arena was more there for entertainment and that was built into the story, how is it going to work this time around? I get the feeling, even though the feature is going to be very similar, the actual context of it is going to be very, very different. Perhaps there will be unique rewards that we can work towards as we progress through the battle arena, maybe in the form of cosmetic items such as costumes, something we've already been told will be present in the game, but perhaps also items that actually give character power such as materia or weapons. There are, of course, just so many directions that this feature could be taken in, but also there's one particular aspect of the original Final Fantasy VII Battle Arena that's worth mentioning because it could also make a comeback. Yes, I'm talking about everybody's favourite slots. Indeed, in the original Final Fantasy VII, you not only had to contend with the enemies and their increased strength, power and HP totals that were present in the Battle Arena, you also had to deal with the dreaded slots mechanic. And if you weren't prepared to do that, then you could very easily, by the final stage, be so debilitated that it doesn't matter if the enemy was the weakest enemy in the game, you just wouldn't have a chance of taking it down. On the other hand, the slots feature kind of forced the player into an extra level of strategy that they had to engage with before battle, which, let's be honest, adds an extra level of immersion, so it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Sure, on the surface, RNG does seem to factor in quite strongly, but if you have the right setup going into these fights, you can pretty much nullify the majority of the negative effects. But do you want it to be present in the upcoming remake, or will you be glad to see the tail end of the slots mechanic in the Colosseum? Personally, I found it to be a little bit of a nuisance, if I'm honest with you, in the original game, but it did force you to think outside the box, which I suppose is a positive thing, so if they could incorporate that aspect of slots without the more frustrating parts of it, then I reckon that would be a good thing. I don't know how they do that, but I'm sure there's a way. Of course, I'm sure Square have even bigger plans for the Colosseum. Maybe it will involve DLC in the future. Who knows? We saw that with Final Fantasy XIII too. Uh, perhaps the Moogle medals that everybody's been collecting around in the demo might have something to do with the currency for the Colosseum. But folks, what would you like to see from this new Colosseum feature? I suspect we'll be introduced to it as part of the story when we're going through the wall market section, but I really hope there's a lot more depth to it than that. And maybe this is potentially going to be a tremendous, end game system as well please do share your opinions down below but thank you so much for stopping by checking out the video today and for more final fantasy 7 remake news and content make sure you stay tuned to the channel i've been simon your host for today and i'll see you next time <laughs>